I think it's kind of unusual in this game that we were having live action. And so we had to go through fittings and makeup and hair. We got to put on the costume for the first time, which was really fun, and get to see the detail and, and kind of get a little bit of info on, you know, the character more so than I had at that point. Creating Killian's costume was really complicated because there were, um, the design of the costume was so complicated and the person that was wearing it, Trish Helfer, is very thin and very tall, which was wonderful, but it was um, almost like making a miniature costume for someone. I've always been interested to see what I'd look like in some sort of kind of warrior suit. Cool. This one just so used yeah, to it. Choking. I knew it was tighter. And so I was really thrilled when, when the actual costume came and it was fully made of leather and, and really well done. And I put it on and the only problem was at first when we first put it on, it was so new and shiny and you're like, uh, wow, <laughs> you need to tack it down. If you're supposed to be out in the field and he's in the tent and you know, he's a field agent. So, you know, we did some fittings, tighten it up, get it, uh, get it fitted to the body. And then um, the wardrobe teched it down, which was, it really turned out nice. Well, actually, when I first um, got the concept sketches, that's all they were. They were concept sketches. They weren't really detailed costume design sketches. The only costume that was designed with the actor in mind was Kane's. Everybody else, the costume designs were pretty far along before, uh, before the casting was done. Um, but with Kane, in the previous games, there was a lot of um, sort of very sculptural uh, rubber elements and, and, and leather elements and stuff that to me felt a little dated now um, for sci-fi. They, they felt like a look that sci-fi did enough times already in the, in the 80s and 90s. And so what I wanted to do with Kane was really make it more religious than anything else. And so his outfit is designed to be very sort of priestly um, because I wanted to play up that whole angle, particularly in the full motion video sequences, even more than the real game. Well, the look uh, in the new CNC3 game compared to the, the franchise in the past is that uh, they were on a very limited budget. Um, the technology has changed immensely from then till now. Um, so there was kind of, I would call it a kitsch quality to them. Um, and um, a little corny and so forth. This is much more serious. That doesn't mean it doesn't have a sense of humor here and there. But the look of it is just so much more rich, so much more dramatic. The set pieces themselves, we were approached by Cherie Baker, I believe. Um, she brought all these design pieces. Had she, This woman brought us some of the most detailed work I've ever seen. I've worked on quite a few big shows and small ones, and some people, some, some of the designers are kind of lazy with what they do, because they, really, uh, they rely on you to come up with it all, not her. She walked in the door and just had it laid out flat, had little tiny models of what she thought it would look like where it should be. It was just incredible. But her choice in colors and her choice of the palette that we had to use, we brought out our best metallics and things because she wanted the flavor of this thing and some stuff to be a very dark metallic, other was concrete, and we had to fold these pieces into place. Mm -hmm. 